Hello, I'm Tanya, or otherwise known as Tanya Asada, and I'm so happy for you to be here, and thank you so much for the support. So I'm making this video so you get to know me a little bit better and a little bit of my collection of where I started and what I have in Airsoft. So to get this started, I have been playing Airsoft for about six and a half years. My boyfriend is the one that got me into this. I was very curious as to why he was playing this sport because I've never seen a gun in my life. So to me, these seem very realistic. So I wanted to, you know, try it out, see what's so fun about it. And so he wanted to make sure I understood the experience. So he shot me in the thigh area from a distance in the backyard, just so I could be like, do I want to get shot with this? <laughs> And it did stay. And I was like, hmm, I don't know how I feel about this. But he really helped me out. He showed me the different options of airsoft guns and how people play and things like that. And I was like, well, let's give it a go. So I went to Tax City slash Airsplat at that time and we ended up getting the MMP. I wasn't super amazed with it when we got home. I think in the store I had it and I was like, well, yeah, this seems like something I would use. And then you get to know a little bit more and you're like, maybe it's not what I want. So we went back and I ended up getting the KWA ATP full auto. And I think it's the full auto that really got me, even though you're not allowed to use it. So here it is. And please, just letting you guys know, it is not loaded, no magazine or anything you know, promote gun safety, whether it's airsoft or real steel. And it's been working ever since. It's never had an issue really. Um, back in the day, KWA did help me out when I did have an issue. They took it in, perfect, brought it back, amazing. I would use it on Wednesdays for pistol and shotgun nights. And then as soon as you play more and more, you see what people are using, you see their stuff, and you're like, well, I want something different. You know, let's try something else. And so we did. We ended up getting a Wetex scar, and to me, and if you played there before at the old tax city, it was very small. So from somebody that didn't fully understand what was going on, it was just too much for me. And it was very lightweight, so it was great for that, but I didn't absolutely love it. And I think in Airsoft, you end up trading, and you end up, you know, seeing what your friends have, and that's what we did. So the next thing that I ended up getting, besides the scar, um, it was the FPG. So this is technically my second gun. And hello, it's everything everybody wants. As soon as you see it, they're like, wow, you still have that? Can I buy it off you? It still works. And I'm like, yeah, it works. It's just not the best when it comes to reliability. It has broken down a few times too many. So as pretty as it is and as cool as it is, I don't really use it all the time. And it's just something I'm just going to keep as a collectible. So after this is when we got the Wii Scar. And again, just learning, just getting myself familiarized with what Airsoft is and what Airsoft gun or replica I want. And from there, we ended up getting the gray. So we were going to start playing outdoors. And so it came right on time. <laughs> So with one of our good friends, we traded with the WeTech Scar and I got this. So how lucky did I get? Uh, we did customize it, so this is not how I originally received it. And the saline great outer barrel, you know, the few attachments and stuff, that's all me. But, you know, problems. There's always problems when it comes to airsoft, so I do need to work on it a little bit. And that's about it. I think for outdoors, I was set up. Outdoors is so much different. I feel like it's slower pace. So I think this is really good. I still needed another gun. I was only using a pistol indoors. And so I sold Jordan's, my boyfriend's, and P7. This is the KWA GBB. And I have so much fun with this. Um, it's not mine, <laughs> but this has been so fun to shoot with. I love it, I love it, I love it. There are a few things that we are gonna change because I haven't used it in a while. Just with everything, I think every gun has its time and then you move on to something that you really want or you know, it's just your primary and you stick to it. So this is great, SMGs, I think especially for indoors are amazing. I also used this at an LCTC challenge 
Ooh, as the last one inside the train and I just flattled everybody. It was so fun. Um, but yeah, it is hella fun. I love GBBs. So the next thing was I still needed a pistol and an upgraded pistol. So we got me a Glock. Glocking. This is a beauty. I think everybody that sees this has always admired it. And we have Glocks. We have like six or seven Glocks. This is my favorite. I am not a big, super high cap person. I don't know. I just love Glocks. I don't hate high cappas. I just think for me personally, a Glock is where it's at for me. So the next thing is, oh, my PP19. <laughs> Another gun that has survived so much. I play this indoors, outdoors, but now it's just an indoor gun, mainly for Battle Lab. <laughs> this is 300 FPS and this 30 RPS. And I'm telling you, when I'm shooting full auto with this, it is it's so quick. And it's pretty silent, I love it. it. It has been amazing, it's so reliable. It's so reliable that in my LCTC challenge for the airplane, I fell, right? I got damaged, but this gun fell and it didn't get damaged. It was working perfectly the next day. So if you want something, you want an AK, I think LCT is always the big. So this is perfect, it's my all time favorite, my sling. Alrighty. So as much as I like playing indoors, I do like to try outdoors also. And I do, I think it's just a lot more indoors. So you're gonna see a lot of indoor guns. The next thing, which is a nice investment, is gonna be the TM Recoil Shock Mark 18. This is amazing. I think all our friends that have never shot a recoil shock, as soon as they shoot it and really get to try it out, oh, excuse the sling, it is fun to use. You can see the trademarks. Oh. It is very fun to shoot. And I love it. I think once you have a TM recoil shock or NGRS, you don't go back. I think Jordan and I have now invested. He has two. I only have one. <laughs> I think my next purchase would be an AKTM NGRS but it's, again, a big investment. So it's based off what you want to get out of your gun. You know, I think after having so many options and looking at the type of gun you want, you kind of stick to what you want. Plus it's easier, you know, the mags and everything, especially if you're investing a lot. So the next thing is my TM. Yes, another TM, or big TM fans. M870 shotgun with the Hogue stock and grip. I haven't really done much besides the, the grip and I do want to get a tracer for this because I really want to use this at Battle Lab and I think that would be so fun. But the tracer I want is about like 300 bucks that is meant for this. But just, you'll know, it'll be amazing once it's completed. And that pretty much sums it up as to all my collection of guns. I think, I don't have a lot, but I think we have invested a lot of money, a lot of time into these guns. And what I get out of it, they've all been fun for different scenarios. And in Airsoft, there are so many options to choose from. So it's very nice to have a little bit of everything and also having a primary that is gonna be amazing. So if anything ever goes wrong, you know, you still have a backup, but that your primary that you rely on is always gonna be something that you should have, you know, up to everything. You know, having the best parts for it, making sure you have spare parts for it also. So I think the great thing about Airsoft is that you can use it for both the sport. You could use it for training. And why wouldn't you wanna try it? <laughs> so I really hope that with this video, you guys get to know me a little bit better, know a little bit of my collection, if you guys have any questions, please let me know. I'll try to answer it. Maybe I'll go into depth about what we've done to every little thing, but it'll probably be a very long video since there is a lot of to go through. But I really enjoy playing Airsoft. I think starting out, my social anxiety really stopped me from pushing forward or doing things that I am now doing. 
and I'm very proud of myself and the journey I've had in Airsoft and now it's become part of my career. So I think it's great. Everybody starts somewhere and I think it's just as long as you try it and you're a good player. And what I mean by a good player is by helping others out, being an honest player, it's always gonna be a good time. You're not going there to win. You're going there to have a good time. I understand if you are playing in a competition or some type of competitive thing, then you're gonna have to get your game on and of course, you're there to win it. But even if you don't, there's always another try. There's always a chance for improvement. And that's what I love about Airsoft, is that you could always use these tools to train and to make yourself a better person when it comes to using of these guns. So again, thank you so much for watching this video and supporting me. Have a good weekend.